Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Gomez, the Miami Bladder Doc, and today I'm here to give you an instructional video on an artificial urinary sphincter, AMS 800. Currently, this video is made in February 2023. The AMS 800 is the only artificial urinary sphincter device available on the market, so it is very likely that if a patient has an artificial urinary sphincter, that this is the device that they, that they have in place. Um, real quickly, there are three components uh, of the device. Um, there is the control pump, which is going to be in the scrotum. This is going to control the device. There is a fluid filled balloon, uh, which is uh, within the pelvis or within the abdomen. And then the action part of it is the cuff, which is a uh, almost a miniature blood pressure cuff, which is going around the urethra. And this is what's controlling the incontinence and the, the artificial sphincter part of the, the device. Here's a uh, schematic drawing of what the device looks like. Again, the control pump is within the scrotum and you can see the cuff is around the urethra and you can see from this image that it'd be very difficult to insert a Foley catheter through the urethra with this cuff squeezing down on the urethra. Um, not only that, you can actually rupture the urethra or um, cause a tear in the urethra, damaging the device if you try and insert a Foley catheter without opening or deactivating the device. So I'm gonna show you how you deactivate that, that device. The control pump uh, within the scrotum is what opens and deactivates the device. Most likely it's gonna be in a vertical uh, position with the tubes going up within the, within the scrotum. Um, the action part of the device which opens it is the bottom part of the device. Um, it often takes two hands to do this within the body so I recommend one hand going around the tubing um, and then pulling up on it to isolate it at the top of the scrotum. Um, there, it makes it easier to press because it, it's isolated at the skin, away from the testicle. As well, it won't move when you press it. So you're gonna feel for the bottom of the device. Again, the bottom of the device, the soft part, is the action part of the device that you wanna press. You're gonna give one to two big squeezes and you're gonna feel it completely indent on there. And it's gonna have a little dimple in it and be concave when you, when you press it that's gonna open up that, that cuff and allow the Foley catheter to be able to, to pass. Now, if you wanna leave that in the open position, you need to deactivate it and lock it uh, in the open position. So what I recommend is after you give it one to two good squeezes, you're just gonna bring your hands up right to this little button that you see there, uh, and you're gonna just press that, that button. The button's gonna spring back out, but if you press it all the way in, it's gonna lock the, the pump in a concave position and it's gonna lock the cuff in an open position. At this point, you're safely uh, able to pass a Foley catheter in place without damaging the device. Uh, we recommend a 14 French catheter or smaller in size uh, to be able to safely pass and not damage the urethra or the artificial urinary sphincter. Um, that's it for this video. That's how to open and deactivate an AMS 800 artificial urinary sphincter. I, I hope this was helpful for you.